which is unheard of. That fills up most of my life. I don't know why, but I'm already, I lost all the photographs that I took. And I'll try and remember to tell you when it's going out. I am far more conscious of Then motivates V to continue. <laughs> Not a diet, it's a really good way of life. And how we weren't educated when we were younger. I'm really hoping that you'll find this podcast no, not yet. I just totally recommend if you've not had them done. I'm on a mission to sort that out. Good morning and welcome to another week. This week, I've just been looking at it and planning out my week. I thought it was going to be awful, but I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> that sounds odd, doesn't it? We're gearing up towards the end of term. It is the end of term next week for us and... Because I work for myself, I can take my work wherever we go. So we're pretty much away for most of the summer, visiting friends and family and going away. So it's very sunny. It's absolutely gorgeous here today. So if you're watching this in the future, we are in a heat wave, which is unheard of in England at the moment. We've had the wettest June and it's suddenly completely done a U-turn and it is amazing, absolutely beautiful. So today I'm just heading out for a walk. I've just done loads of admin-y type stuff and sorted and tidied up the house. I always find I need a Monday morning to clear all the crap from everywhere that's all over the house. I don't know what happens at the weekend, but I've restored it back and I'm heading out to get my steps in Oh, I'm going quite slow. I need to speed up. It's telling me my watch. It's been, it's going to be quite a nice week this week. I have got lots of admin y, school -y type things that I need to do. I won't obviously take you with me to that. I don't really tend to put much with my kids on here now. Maybe my little one, but my elder two girls do not really want to feature in any sort of photos or content or anything which is kind of fair enough now so I don't really tend to talk about them much which is a shame because that fills up most of my life those two anyway so yeah I will take you with me today on what I'm up to I've got a few things that have arrived that I want to show you that have turned up in the post and then I'm trying to think what is actually going on this week and I have actually looked at the diary I don't know you'll have to follow to to watch and you have to watch and see what I get up to because I can't actually remember what I'm doing. This is a good vlog, isn't it? So the lovely team at Crew Clothing have sent some clothes for my husband and for my little boy. So I'm a massive fan of Crew Clothing anyway, and I've shopped with them for years and years. Uh, but I really do like the kids wear for boys and I love the menswear as well. So I just wanted to show you a few things that are in stock at the moment. The so first up, I, this jumper, which I absolutely love. I'm really hoping my husband's gonna love it too. It's kind of like a waffly effect. It's very soft. There we go, you can see it there. And then here's the sort of sleeve. So it's actually quite a fine knit, but perfect for kind of like this weather, although maybe it's too hot today, but normal British summer weather. I think this is gonna be perfect. Really like it. It's got a, a contrasting sort of trim inside, which looks really nice. So those, they have sent some chinos, which he wears all the time. So he's constantly wearing chinos from Crew Clothing. And then this gilet, which is rather nice. So again, probably not the right weather today, but it's quite a nice, thin, summery gilet. I like the corduroy lining around the neck as well. So I'm hoping he's gonna love those. And then for my little boy, they've sent some shorts. He had a similar pair that he wore lots last year, so they will be really handy. They're kind of like a chino color. And then these polo shirts, which are so useful and they just make everything look a bit smarter. So I'm gonna be taking these away with us when we go away because he will be living in these, I think. And then this lovely kind of blue hoodie jumper, but it's very soft. I just think that's really nice. Um, he's gonna wear this, I'm sure, all over the summer. So thank you very much to Crew Clothing, who have very kindly sent this. And then the lovely team at Hobbs have sent some lovely items as well. Um, so these are just in at the moment. They're really kind of a classic design, but they look very soft and very comfortable. I don't know why, but I'm already, 
thinking about autumn, like literally summer has just arrived here in the UK and I'm thinking these would be great for autumn. So let me just get the other one out to show you. I think they're really nice. I'm a massive fan of Hobbs shoes. I just think they fit really well and they're just very comfortable. And these look like butter. They're really, really soft. So I'm hoping they're going to be really comfortable to wear with jeans and a shirt or a blouse or even a jumper. I think they look really, really nice, especially for the colder weather when it comes, which I'm sure will be soon. I don't know why I'm saying this. I should be so excited that the sun is actually shining today. It's gorgeous out there. Hi, good afternoon. I'm just off out to, I'm gonna rub my blusher in, out to help an event at school. Not sure why I'm clapping. And I wanted to show you my dress. So this is an old Aspiga dress. I absolutely love it. They always bring out the same style uh, every year in different prints. And I think you can still get this print. It's called the Tabitha dress. I'm sure it's something like that. So this is really easy to wear in weather like this. I haven't worn it this summer at all. Um, so it cuts just under the bust here and then it just flows out. So it's very flowy. Can you see all the way over here? So I've got on my wedged heels. These are hobs. And then I'm going to take my denim jacket, but I really don't think I'm going to be able to wear my denim jacket. It is so hot. Not complaining or anything like that. But I've also put on my new foundation. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Ring Light stick thing it is really good i don't think it gives like a full coverage so i've actually had to put some of my other foundation a beautiful skin one underneath and then i've just put this over the top but i just think it gives a really nice glow if you don't want loads of coverage then i think it's perfect for you i have a discount code which i'm going to put below if you are interested at all in using it i've just tried to zhuzh my hair up it's not really working in this heat Anyway, so I've got this uh, denim jacket. It is a Hobbs one. It was new this season. So I'm going to put that on. So hot. I'm going to have to take this off again. And I have a bag, which again, sorry, is last season. This is Osprey, uh, but I love it. It's like a buckety style bag. And it, you can just sort of throw everything in it and it just keeps it all nice for summer so this, this is what i'm going to be wearing today for the event i'm then picking up i think about six kids and doing tea for them all and then doing this is my manic night of beavers and brownies and dyes and i don't really know what's going on i'm so hot i'm gonna have to take this off <laughs> like boiling uh, the reason why i like this dress as well is because if you get this right you can cover up your bra straps and you can tie it to whatever kind of height you want so it's quite a flexible dress. Plus it's got elastic on the back, like smocking style on the bottom. So, oh, I need to cover my bra strap up there. Gosh, it was so hot yesterday. Um, I look a bit red, didn't I? I need to get some more cream on. So you can cover it up basically. So I really like this. I've got on my necklace. This is from Mimos, Mimis, Mima, something. And I haven't worn it for ages, so just dug it out. Anyway, better go because I'm going to be late. Good morning. Um, I had an absolute disaster last night. I lost all the photographs that I took at uh, Ascot. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. So I took my camera, my big camera, and I made my sister, who is not a photographer, uh, stand and take millions of photos, which she was not confident doing. And plus it's very heavy. So I'm really, really annoyed at myself that this is happening. So annoyed we had some really good shots so I d I'm, I'm trying to been trying to research as to what i could have done to make this happen which is really annoying anyway that was my disaster last night realizing that i definitely couldn't recover anything and i was like what is what's going on today i am heading out to go and help with like a school pta thing it's all kind of busy 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 behind the scenes with all of that i put on my ring light foundation so I've actually been reading lots of reviews about it and people are saying that it's more like a highlighter rather than a full foundation. Although, I, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. I really like it. It does look like I look really sweaty. I'm not. It's just the glow. <laughs> That's probably not a good selling point, is it? It is really nice in real life. I just wanted to come on to talk to you about a few things. Today I've got on this maxi dress, which I love. So this is, I'm really sorry, it's old LK Bennett. It's last season. You might get it in the sale, but it's really comfy. It's really nice, apart from it goes quite low. So I've had to 
put this kind of top underneath because it doesn't work with me but it's got nice white wide straps on the top and it's just very comfy so i wanted to talk to you about sun care because obviously it's really important to wear proper sun care and especially for the kids so we've just got some more of this we have this and i work with them so i do have a code which i'll put below and my husband he's a surgeon and he does melanoma for those of you who don't know as one of his jobs so he's very conscious about sun and putting on suntan lotion and i've actually been i've just recorded a podcast that will go live all about uh that or well, more about melanoma actually but generally about um suntan lotion and stuff like that which hopefully will go live in the next few weeks so you'll be able to listen to it if you want to and i'll try and remember to tell you when it's going out on here uh, but i'll put a link to that below although when it goes out it will be on future vlogs sorry this is making no sense and i need to leave in four minutes so this suntan lotion brand i highly recommend i use it for myself i use it on my face they've got lots of tinted moisturizers that i use i use it on my body i love the spray that they have they've got like a aerosol spray uh, but we use this one with the children and it is really nice to use it's obviously factor 50 it's just great so i'll put a link below to that it's really easy to spray as well i don't think this one's been opened yet but let me just look oh oh has this one been open oh it has but it's got a catch on it oh no that is the catch there we go sorry i've just sprayed it off the sofa it smells nice, it's just really nice product to use. So I, I not only use it for children, oh, it just smells of summer. I'm actually gonna put it on here as well. It's just really nice. So you can buy it online, you can buy it in special kind of clinics and um, some beauty salons perhaps sell it. But I do have a code that you can use to get some money off, which I'll put below. My next one was all about these. So the other day, these perfumes arrived. So you might remember I was raving about them the other day. This is called Stories. Uh, this is number two, there's number one and number two. I think there's three and four coming. But I listened to this podcast and fell in love with this woman that was talking about her brand and bought little samples. Now I've gone in and bought these ones, which are 15 mil. Oh, it smells so nice. I cannot tell you how like, just kind of, I don't know. It, it's it's really bizarre like the smell you can smell all these different things within it oh so nice so i've literally just been wearing this um for the last few days i wore number two because i took number two with me so i love it so much that i'm gonna do an instagram post on it and everyone will think she's gone mad but i really do think it's a great product uh buy the little samples just to try them first they're like little tiny but then you can see which one you would like i really can't decide. I feel like I like both of them for different reasons and different days. Smells so good. Anyway, last thing is sparkling water. I am looking for a new soda stream. This isn't the one we've got. I don't, this is a random bottle that we've got from somewhere. I would like this brand. Has anyone got a soda stream that they recommend? Because I love sparkling water. I love drinking it all day. Um, I much prefer it to normal water. So if anyone's got any recommendations for a new soda stream, we've got a really basic one that I use uh, most of the time every day, um, but I would like to upgrade it to something a bit better and a bit more that looks better as well on the countertop. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, I need to drive and go. So I will um, be back later on. Oh, and I did my tennis lesson, which was great. It was really good. I love my tennis. I wish I could do it more. I really, I really enjoy it. And those of you that follow me for a while will know I hate all exercise, absolutely everything I hate exercise-wise, but I do like tennis. Good morning, I'm just about to head to the supermarket and I thought I should do a little get ready with me because uh, I think that's what you're meant to do when you're vlogging. I'm just not very good at this thing. So this is the Glow Toner. So 
So I've got a little bottle here, which I have been slowly working my way through, but I'm going to use some of the products that we used at the event last week for Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just going to put some on a cotton pad. So all I've done now is just wash my face and then I'm going to use this just to quickly clean off anything on my face. So you can see I'm going to use the new stick foundation and one of the reasons for doing this is I've just been watching a review on it by a lady called Sally Hughes, S-A-L-I and then Hughes. She's like a beauty blogger, like the biggest one there is. So follow her on Instagram. She's got great videos, always really good reviews and she's done a really good review on the stick. If you don't have time to watch it, I'll just tell you what she says. So she basically says that it is a, another version of the Hollywood filter. Look, you can see I love it. It's all, the, the writing's gone on it. This is my favourite product and she was saying it's her favourite product too. So the stick is very much like the Hollywood filter. There you are. However, it's got a slightly more coverage, but it is not a foundation, she says and she thinks. It does call itself a hydrating foundation stick, but it just does not give the coverage that I need. If you don't need much coverage, then totally recommend it. But I love it, really love it. So I'm gonna get ready with you and put all of my makeup on now. I've got on this green dress because it's lovely and sunny outside and I can't wait to get out there in the sunshine. It is from Accessorize. So the Accessorize team uh, sent this to me. So they're obviously part of Monsoon as well, but this is from their Accessorize range. It's really easy and comfy to wear. It's quite bright for me, but quite like a bright dress. So I'm going to wear this today to the... What I'm wearing it to? Nothing. I'm literally going shopping today to buy stuff for playgroup that I'm organising tomorrow. It's our last playgroup. And I am going to cricket, so I'm really doing nothing exciting. But I'm, I'm hot, and yesterday I was really hot in that dark dress. So I decided to go light and lightweight fabric so that it's better. Anyway, let me get on with these products. So first up, I am going to be using this, which is the serum, the Magic Serum. So I tend to just squirt a bit like this into my hands and make sure it's all massaged in, especially down my neck as well and round my face. It's really nice, very refreshing. Not sure why I'm not in focus. It's lovely to wear, really nice. So, sorry I'm perched here as well. Is this a good enough light? I'm not sure it is. Maybe I should move. So I'm then gonna go in with the eye cream. So this is the Cryo Recovery Eye Serum, which we used the other week, last week, sorry, at my Charlotte Tilbury event. And she actually put quite a lot on. So it's got like this kind of rollerball thing, which you put on on the bottom like this. And she did this for quite a while. I've never been into really eye creams and I've never really understood the purpose of them. However, I'm now getting older and I'm noticing a lot more wrinkles, bags, just generally creeping. And I think because my husband does a lot of upper blepharoplasties and lower blepharoplasties on women, I am far more conscious of my eyes. And so therefore I'm really starting to get into eye cream. So I use it at night now and in the day. And if I'm honest, I wish I'd started a lot earlier, but I didn't really understand how this could help. So I, I do, I would like my, um, my uppers done. Can you see there? I've got quite a big overhang. So I would like to have the skin taken away, which is an upper blepharoplasty. And you'll be very excited to know that I have a podcast coming up all about upper blepharoplasties and what's involved, how the process works, ha what happens in the operation. We literally talk about everything. So if you're interested in that at all, it will be coming soon, I promise. I'm loving the little green dress, it's nice, isn't it? Right, so that is the under eye cream. Then I'm going to do, let me get this right, oh, some cream, some magic cream. So I've got two magic creams. I've either got the water cream or I've got the classic one. I think I'm just gonna go in the classic one. I've left my big tub down south so i'm going with this and i use this quite a lot the tub and the 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 pot sorry last for a long time but the key to getting your makeup correct is having a really 
good foundation base. So all of this is going to make your makeup stay longer and last longer, which is what you want to do, what, what you want it to do. Oh, that feels really nice. So I'll let that set for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go in with this, which is the primer. Now this, I bought this the other day at the event because I really like the product. I just thought it added an extra sort of priming layer, which is definitely what I need. My skin is very dry, very dehydrated and just needs some love at the moment. So this has obviously got Factor 50 in, which I definitely always try to wear some sort of cream on my face that has Factor 50 in. So I have been using the Abaji Tinted Moisturiser, which I do still love and I will use that, especially when I'm on holiday when I don't want to put loads of makeup on. But I'm going to use this underneath my makeup. Oh, it's so nice. feels like a kind of balmy cream. It's very nice. So that has got Factor 50 in it. So definitely recommend that. Right, then I'm going to go in with my base coat. So I'm going to use my Beautiful Fit Skin Foundation. It's it's running low, but I love it. So what I do is I just put bits on here. So this is my problem area with all my redness and my pigmentation. So I'm just going to blend this in. This is a really nice foundation. It's not too heavy. It's lightweight and it just... For me, it acts as a base. I'm gonna put a bit more on my nose. So what I like to do is build up my layers, depending on what I'm doing. If I was going out for longer or I wanted it to last longer, I tend to use a layer of this, which is great. It's matte, it's quite thick. It's their thickest foundation, but I'm not, I don't want it to be too full today. So I'm going to use the new stick foundation. So you literally just put it on like that. It's very glowy, very dewy, but I do really like that look. So I literally have just put it on everywhere. Obviously I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to remember what they did last week at my event. And then I just make sure I'm putting it all in more dabby movements as well. So I'm going in with this little concealer. Apologies, it's pretty filthy. It's my favourite concealer. I do quite like the NARS one, but this is so good. So obviously you probably meant to use a brush. I just put it on like that. So you can see there, I've got one eye that hasn't got it and one eye that has, and it just gives it a kind of natural lift. And all I'm doing is sort of dabbing it in like that. And then I go on the other side too. And I just absolutely love this. It's one of my favourite products, a bit like the Flawless Filter. So there we go. I'm going to add in some bronzer and blusher. I'm just going to be quick today because I really don't have time to do this. I'm just doing it for you. So I'm just going to add in some bits here coming down, bits up here, bit on my nose. And then I'm just going to add some down here just for that definition. And then I blend. Blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna use my bigger brush and blend. I've just combed up my brushes, brushes, my um, brows, and I'm just going to add in, oh, I need to twist this on, a little bit of this blusher. This is my favorite blusher at the moment. It just adds this little sort of pop of pink. It's a bit bright there, but it will go down. So this is called Pink Gasm, and I think it is definitely my favorite. So I just tend to put it right up like that to try and make my cheek buttons look a lot higher than they actually are. And then I just blend and blend so that it doesn't look so rosy. And then I'm just going to add some lips and mascara and that is it. Oh, and also I will mattify this T-zone area. So I'm using my very used Airbrush Flawless Filter. What's it called? No, it's not. Airbrush Flawless Finish, it's a powder. So I just tend to brush it in and use it across the top here like so, and just use it down my T-zone area because I don't want it to look 
too dewy, but I do love that dewy effect. I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I'm actually not gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury one because I love this one, but I do like the Charlotte Tilbury one. But if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, this is so good. There we go. It is called the Maybelline Sky High. It's brilliant. It's really good. I just love the definition it gives. The, the Charlotte Tilbury on it is very good too, and it's won lots of awards and things. So I do recommend it, but I quite like this. It's quick and easy. I'm gonna finish with my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's all a bit flawless, isn't it? Flawless literally spray that on i love it the other spray that i got last week sorry my battery died and then i was bright there wasn't i so oh i was just gonna put on some lipstick wasn't i but i was talk gonna talk about this spray that i got so this is the new spray that i got i don't think it's actually new it's called the radiant skin rescue so basically the idea is you keep it kind of with you all day it smells amazing and it just gives you that juiciness that look you want to your skin so let me just put this on and i'm i'm ready to go i need to hurry up because i need to do so much work so let's just try and look in natural light so that you can actually see that it's not really it looks it's looking shiny it's not really in real life that shiny but i have obviously just sprayed that spray on so it's really nice i do recommend that foundation stick right i need to leave and go because I'm faffing. Good afternoon. I'm venturing out. Um, still got my dress on and trainers. I am just hanging out before the school run and just trying to get as much stuff done as I can walking wise. I've done really well for the last few days, so I'm really pleased. I've just had some messages about people that have been fasting um, and following along with what I'm doing. And I, yeah, please do send me messages if any of my fasting kind of talk helps because it then motivates me to continue <laughs> to do it. So I've had quite a few messages randomly today from a few people saying how they started fasting because they saw I was doing it and how it's working for them and they're feeling a lot more healthier and one lady said I don't even need to eat till like one o'clock and I don't feel hungry anymore so yeah I do think it's a really good not a diet it's a really good way of life way of life just just general life I don't know what I'm saying I'm so tired I don't know why my iron is not working I've run out of my iron liquid and I'm taking these iron tablets and they are I don't think they're as good as the iron liquid that I keep talking about too anyway i am in a mission i've got about half an hour just to get as many steps in as possible before i do the cricket run this is one of my favorite little paths that run down i love it it's all seasons it just looks stunning you can hear the water right over there oh my move ring has closed that is good i've just seen a runner running past and i was like oh I should really run. I'm not going to run, don't worry. Good evening. Look at this absolutely gorgeous light. It's coming right through here. I've just been looking at the weather though, and it looks like it's going to be raining by the weekend, which I'm really upset about. I've just been trying to sort out and tidy and organise myself for tomorrow. I don't even know what day it is tomorrow. I feel a bit jaded. I definitely need to get some more of this. Um, this is my iron stuff. I I don't know, I've been taking the tablets and I just don't feel like they're doing as much as this did. I really need to get some more of this stuff. Have anyone else taken iron tablets? And do you think they're any good or do you take this stuff? It's really annoying to travel with this stuff, so that's why I thought I'd try the tablets, but I think they just block you up and make you constipated, whereas this didn't seem to do that. I have no idea what's going on out there, but there's a lot of noise. Look at that sun, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So nice. Just picked this rose as well, which is nearly on its way out. I've just been photographing it, isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely love these roses and they smell amazing too. Oh, they're so good. So I just wanted to show you my outfit that I'm wearing, uh, well, was wearing today. I'm gonna go and change into 
my comfies because I'm working from home and I've got a load of Zoom meetings today. So this is phase eight. I was going to say it's got pockets, but it doesn't have pockets. It's got a side zip that comes up. I want to say it's linen. I'm not sure it is full linen, but it's got that kind of linen effect. Oh, this is so annoying to see, isn't it? Can you see the collar detail? So it's got like a collar with a V here and then this tie that pulls it in here and then it goes out. But it's quite an easy, nice dress to wear as long as you don't spill watermelon down it. I've been cutting up watermelon for my play group that I do and I managed to spray it all down here. So I'm hoping you can't see that. So I teamed this with these shoes, which are from Hobbs, but they are last season. So apologies. They're a really nice wedge, very comfy easy to wear um and then i have my trusty bag which is my favorite summer bag at the moment this osprey one which i love it's just got this really nice effect on it like a weaving effect and then i put with it my denim jacket which i wore today to do the school run in anyway so yes i have some meetings today for lots of different things actually there's some projects i'm working on and so i want to get those done and then i'm going to head out for a walk i've got a really nice week this week normally it's a bit chaotic because it's towards our end of term next week is our end of term so i'm trying to plan stuff for the summer holidays and what we're going to do i think we're going to spend a lot of it down south and i'm going to see my sisters who are all around the country so we're going to catch up with them but we yeah i've got a long summer holiday so i'm just trying to plan now what we're going to be doing in it next week is a really busy one lots of fun things happening so i'm just getting my head around that at the moment i took some lovely photos of the perfume yesterday that i've been wearing uh which i am still a massive fan on of i can't decide whether i like the number one or the number two and i'd be intrigued to know if any of you have tried this brand before what you think of it anyway i must go and sort out what i am doing I'm not sure if you could hear that, but I've it, I was just had that on in the background and I've just been editing a podcast that I've just done with my husband all about melanoma. And it's really interesting because this lady was obviously saying that you shouldn't use some beds and how we weren't educated when we were younger to understand this. And then she talked about her melanoma journey. And I think because I live with my husband who talks about it all the time, um, I'm so aware of it, but I think the general public are not aware of it at all. Well, some people are, but lots of you, lots of people can learn. Um, so anyway, I'm really hoping that you'll find this podcast really educational because he just goes through different things about melanoma, what to look for, why you should use sun cream and all those sorts of things. So it's actually really interesting to hear other people's stories as well. Um, I also interviewed another lady who had skin cancer and she has a skincare brand now, which is a fake tan with a factor of 50 in it. So I interviewed her all about her story and why she had this, made this cream and started this company. So that was really interesting. So those two podcasts are coming out very soon. Um, I promise that when I actually eventually get them live, I will put links out to show you where they, where to find them if you want to. I'm going to try and put them on a YouTube channel as well, if I can. This is all a bit technical for me but I feel like I want to help educate people that are not medical like me who want to learn about all these sorts of things and why it's important and why we should know about it anyway I just thought it was really interesting I could hear it in the background I was thinking they're talking about melanoma anyway but I need to finish editing good morning I'm um, good morning good afternoon <laughs> oh dear I'm just out for a walk, but I can smell this lavender from like miles away. It smells amazing. It's all coming out now. Love a bit of lavender. This is like quite wild, isn't it? Um, anyway, I'm just heading uh, out to do a few vintage um, drop-offs and then I'm going for my walk.
Good morning, you'll be pleased to see I'm back on here. I've not given up just yet. <laughs> I've got this one watcher on here who keeps commenting and saying, have you not sold it yet? No, not yet. My husband's now getting into it too, so I feel like we can't really sell it. <sighs> Although I'm so tempted. I'm not enjoying this, I should be on 70 cadence. And I'm not doing this very well at all, I hate it. Anyway, I'm just doing a quick workout and a, I'm going to do a quick weight session on here, the bar Pilates session. And then I am going to get ready because I'm heading out for lunch um, with some friends. So it's all a bit uh, rushed this morning, but I'm just having to get it in and get it done. Look at all these cycling people in the background. It's crazy. Like, I hate this so much. So the lovely team at Hobbs have sent me some few, a few things. I can't remember what I've showed you and not showed you. These are brand new on the website now. They, I think they even say new in. As you all know, like I'm a massive fan of Hobbs. I just feel that it's such nice quality. So I love all their clothes. I particularly like this. How nice is this? It's a really beautiful blue colour. I've just tied my hair back in a ponytail because I don't want to wash it. I've been trying to get away with washing it once a week, which has been good so far. So um, it's kind of like a V shape here, got this lovely sleeve detail, which is great for covering the tops of your sleeves. Comes down to here, got a nice tie, and then it's got a beautiful kind of flowing skirt bit at the bottom. Really like that, it's got pockets. I think this is gonna be great for like summer. So with a denim jacket, it could be dressed up or down. Um, I think it's really nice. but I really like it. It's quite a nice bright blue. If only it was sunny outside. Um, I'm heading out for lunch, but I can't decide what to wear, so I'm just going to try this one on too. So this is a more kind of casual one. This is Hobbs as well. New in, it is called Estella Dress. It's more of a, like a linen effect, which I think would be great this summer. Obviously, if the weather gets better, I'll be wearing this lot. It's quite, obviously, I've got the blue, and the red, I'm very into colours and what colours suit me. I've had my colours done, which I totally recommend if you've not had them So done. when you get your colours done, it's all about the, the tone. So all colours suit everybody, but it's about the particular tone of that colour. So this red might suit me, it might not suit you. And you have a little colour chart that you get at the end of your colour session. Let's pull this vest down a bit and it tells you which tones to get. Obviously, it's very hard when you shop online. I find that when something arrives, it looks nothing like it does online. So you have to be really careful about that. Like this, I think, would look better, more in natural light. Let me just try and, there we go, completely different. Anyway, I think this would be a really good dress to wear for summer. It's really easy to wear. Uh, I was gonna put a belt around it, but I don't think it really needs it. It's just a casual summer dress. Really like that. Lovely shoes. Really easy to wear. Very soft. I think it'll get softer with washes as well. I'm waiting for my friend to arrive. So I'm going to drive us. We're going to see another friend and catch up. It's raining. Great. I was going to wear a summer dress. It's literally raining. Yesterday was so nice. I'm so sick of this weather. I don't know what it's doing. Anyway, we've got quite a nice weekend coming up. We are catching up with some friends on Saturday. My husband is working Saturday and Sunday, but I'm hoping, oh, I've just noticed a house that I can see right through in the distance. I've never noticed that before. I can, this, it's like a Mary Poppins here. You can see lots of chimney pots popping along. And when there's gaps in the trees, you can see different things. Anyway, I can see lots of things. I've never noticed that either. I'm being observant looking. I think I've never really stood in this angle, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, so we've got a really nice weekend coming up. Uh, I still haven't planned much for the summer, so I'm on a mission to sort that out. Definitely can't wear this dress. It's now pouring. So that's good. Um, anyway, I will catch up with you later on. Hopefully I'll head out for a walk later. Uh, and we're going to have dinner in tonight and just have a relaxing evening. I think everyone's bit stressed with the end of term, the kids are quite tired, the tooth fairy forgot to come last night. 